What you see on your screen right now is an Xbox, an Xbox controller that has Bluetooth built in, a mobile phone, whether it's an iPhone or an Android, and a mobile gaming clip to hold your phone to the controller. Hi, welcome to our channel All About Home Electronics, where in this video, we'll show you how to set up Xbox Remote Play. You can keep your Xbox at home with your favorite games, and then when you're visiting friends or relatives and you have internet access, you can play those games remotely using Xbox Remote. We'll start right after this. So to begin, we're going to go over everything that's necessary in order for you to successfully set up Xbox Remote Play. There are a couple of things that we found that weren't so clear, so you might want to consider watching the whole video. Uh, that way you shouldn't have any problems setting this up. And we timestamp everything below this video in the description, that way you can reference it again. So let's get started. You do need a compatible phone or a tablet, it shows you right here, uh, Android 6.0 or iOS 10 Plus or Windows. We're not showing you how to do Windows on this video. Now the Xbox that you're going to set up, it needs to be a Series X like we're showing, an S, or an Xbox One console. The 360 won't work, and there are some uh, games that aren't going to be able to play. We might touch on that a little bit later. Now you're going to need a compatible Xbox wireless controller that has Bluetooth. We'll show you how to link the two. You'll need the Xbox app. You need a Microsoft account with uh, an Xbox profile. And then, of course, you need an internet connection where Microsoft shows you right here, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi um, or a mobile data connection plan of 10 megabits per second down. So you can look into that for yourself. You can try it out. We've set everything up successfully. It works well. Here we go. Now we need to make sure the power options for our Xbox console are set correctly to support remote play. We're going to do this by navigating to settings within the Xbox console itself, highlighting the general tab as we've done here at the top left of the screen, and then over to power options and select that tab. Now you'll notice in our case we have it set to shut down energy saver mode. That's not going to work for remote play. We need to select sleep. And in doing so, the Xbox console will burn a little more electricity, but that's one of the costs for using remote play. Once we've activated that sleep mode, we'll need to navigate over to customize power options, select it, and then over to remote features and make sure remote features are enabled. So the screen that we're looking at now is produced by our Xbox console. We're getting ready to log into our Microsoft account that has an Xbox profile, and later on we're going to do the same thing on our mobile device log into our Microsoft account with an Xbox profile. Both accounts need to be the same account. This is how your mobile device can link up with your Xbox when you're trying to play remote play. Now in this step we're going to demonstrate Bluetooth connecting your mobile device to your Xbox controller. We don't recommend you do this step until after you've made any adjustments necessary with your Xbox console because basically you're unpairing your Xbox controller from your console and pairing it to your mobile device. You'll see here in our example mobile device we're turning Bluetooth on and apparently it's not discovering any Bluetooth devices. Now on the Xbox controller at the top is this little button that we're going to press and hold for a brief moment and hopefully our phone is going to pick it up. And there it is. Connected. All right, now let's focus on our mobile phone. You'll want to download the Xbox app onto your mobile device like we're showing the app here. Now that we've connected our mobile phone to our Xbox controller via Bluetooth, it's time to test out and make sure the remote is set up correct. We'll do this by opening the Xbox app. Next, we're going to press this button. But before we do, notice the Xbox console light is out. And remote play on this device. When you 
you see this plane missile thing flying, um, it's attempting to make a connection. All right, so let's see if we're connected. It says remote access is on. It'll be interesting to see if we connect the HDMI to our television, what we get. Our Xbox console is actually connected to an AVR. Now, this isn't material for you because it's just how we happen to have ours connected. We scroll up to the TV. Now, before I do, look at the screen here. Look at the light. It's not on. It's in sleep mode, I guess, or standby. But the matching screen is on our television. So, let's lock in on the TV and let's change something. Everything that I'm doing on my mobile device is showing up on the TV. So we are remotely connected. Now we recommend that you test this before you leave the house that you're storing your Xbox console so that when you're remote it will work. If you have any questions please post them in the comments below the video. Here are a few video links we hope you might find useful. If you like this video or it helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe free to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.